The candidates for Hawaii's Race for U.S. Senate are getting some big name celebrity support. It's a story that our partners at Civil Beat are following. And joining us over Skype is CivilBeat.com reporter Chad Blair. Now, Chad, you normally cover politics, but I think you're covering a little bit of Hollywood this morning. <laughs> Well, it came as a surprise to me to look at um, Maisie Hirono's contributions. She received money from Barbara Streisand, uh, from Bill Gates, who's not Hollywood, but is a megastar, and also the actor that played Sulu on Star Trek. That's really interesting. Now, do you, do you find out why they support them, or do the, the documents that you're looking at it just list names and contributions? It just lists names and contributions. Uh, someone like Barbara Streisand, of course, has been known to donate a lot of money to Democratic candidates across the country. So, so maybe that's no surprise. But Bill Gates, that one, that one kind of perked my attention. <laughs> and what about uh, Maisie Hirono's likely opponent, Linda Lingle? Is she getting any star support? They're not as well known to the average person. There are uh, several former U.S. senators, Republicans, no surprise, uh, that have given money to her campaign. The other name that caught my eye was a Wyoming businessman named Foster Fries. He was the guy that basically bankrolled uh, Rick Santorum's run for the uh, U.S. presidency, unsuccessful run. It's really interesting when you look at who's donating and how much money or what percentage of the donations are coming from out of state, do you think? Well, that was another thing that really surprised me. I know both Maisie Hirono and Linda Lingle, and Ed Case for that matter. I looked at his report. They pride themselves on their local support, and there are quite a few local uh, uh, dignitaries, if you will, that have given money. But Maisie Hirono and Linda Lingle have received huge contributions from many, many people across the country. These include business executives and, uh, and investors and, and lawyers. So that was a bit of a surprise as well. All right. And I, and I made an error, Chad. I said likely opponent, Linda Lingo. I just meant to say uh, potential opponent, Linda Lingo. Uh, Chad Blair, thank you You're so gonna much. You're going to get a phone call from Ed Case this morning. I know. I watch. don't want any phone calls. <laughs> I, I made an error. It's potential opponent. Uh, it's obviously, it's Maisie Hirono versus Ed Case. And then we'll see who goes on uh, in the general election after that. But Chad Blair, thank you so much for your live report. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for reading Civil Beat. Thank you. And you can find the complete story that we just discussed on civilbeat.com. It is 638. We'll be right back.